Hey, hi, hello. It's Christy with Crafting All the Time. Have you ever had one of those days where you want desperately to craft something and um, you're excited to get up and get going and then you get in your craft room and you start a million things and you just keep setting them aside because you just can't decide what you want to do? That's my morning. That's today. That's what's going on. So I'm going to be honest and tell you guys, this is like the fourth or fifth video I've started this morning. Um, to be fair, one of those was working some more on my craft room, trying to clean some of the mess up. And I finally was like, I got to take a break. I got to take, and I don't know how much I actually accomplished before taking my break, but there we are. But one thing I did was I was sorting through paper and I came across this paper pad. Um, I've had this for a long time. Um, most of my paper pads I've had for a long time. We're talking five years, four years, um, somewhere in that neighborhood because I don't really buy paper pads anymore. I'd like to use up what I have. Um, so this is an old one. That said, um, there's a lot of it. I like, I don't know if I've used three pages out of this. Actually, this may be more than one paper pad. I'm not sure. Some of this may have come from a different one. Anyway, um, possibly not. It doesn't set 48 sheets. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know that it all came from this one. But anyway, I think it is. I think it's just the one paper pad. Um, now I went off on a rant. It, uh, Oh, okay. So yeah. So, um, what I want to do is start working my way through this paper pad and I want to use the whole thing up. Um, kind of trying to motivate myself to get these used, um, so that I can, you know, kind of clear some of this out. So, um, I don't know if I can zoom out any further or not. I guess I can't. Um, so, I don't know how many parts this is going to take. Uh, I know I have several series going at once. I don't know how many parts this is going to take, but I do want to use this paper pad up. So, we're going to start today just by making, I don't know, some tags and pockets and just whatever kind of grabs my fancy um, to work through them. We'll see. Um, this can be cut into six by six. What is this? Okay, so that's six by 12 pieces. That might actually be good for making like a little traveler's notebook. I could just fold that in half and make a little traveler's notebook out of that. Um, there's some more six by six. Here's some, like, cut-apart stuff. Um, yeah, there's just, there's a lot here. And we're just going to see what we can do, I guess. So, actually, let's start with that idea on the Traveler's Notebook. Seems like as good a place as any to start. I'm going to set the paper pad aside. And we're going to have to cut that off. And the one thing I should have done first when I was cleaning, and I didn't, of course, was to uh, clear my desk. That's where I should have started, and I didn't. So there is stuff literally everywhere. Um, you may see stuff like rolling into frame to be irritating, um, but I may take breaks here and there to work on this. This is just, it's a Sunday work day, work day Sunday. That's maybe that's my new thing is work day Sunday. I've got so many ideas of things I want to show you guys and do, um, but But, um, I've got so much mess. 
And it's so hard to... That is the most crooked paper on earth. Okay, so that's supposed to be 12 by 12. That's sitting at 12. Look at that. That has been cut horribly. Okay, so we're going to have to cut it down to an even. Let me move this for a minute. And that's terrible. Okay, so we're going to fold it. Also, guys, I think I'm going to take this uh, thank you washi off of my desk <clears throat> um, because it's starting to tear up and I'm going to have to um, redo it because it looks tacky now. <laughs> um, I want to order, I found a mat that I want to order um, on Amazon and I'm just waiting until the bills are paid for the month so that I know what I've got to spend. Um, and if not, then possibly um, when I get a tax return this year, I can order it then. And this will be my last year of having a decent tax return. So, and it's all got to go to bills because, you know, that's life. That's just the way it works. Um, right now, everything is so expensive that we just find ourselves in that position where it's like, if you've got a little money, it's probably gone to bills. I don't know if you guys are in that same boat, but that's certainly our position at this time. Um, I went... I told you, I told you guys in the other video, um, which you probably won't see today. So I'll go ahead and tell you again. Yesterday, my husband and I went shopping. <clears throat> we went to the local thrift shop, um, where I like to go to look for organizing stuff. Um, and I found a couple of cabinets that I really loved. Um, but, uh, I couldn't fit them in the car and I called my son and he was working so he couldn't come and get them. So, um, I wound up not buying anything there, which was fine. Um, and then we went to the friends of the library bookstore where I bought, uh, 20 or 21 books, uh, to use in crafting and journaling. Um, and so that was fun. I need to see this is going to be too long because I don't want to use 12 inch papers. So I'm going to cut this down to, um, let's see, how wide is this? Okay, so I'm going to cut this to, let's see, a standard page is eight and a half by 11. So let's just go four or four and an eighth let's go four and an eighth um which will make this whole thing uh what eight and a quarter no that's not what i want to do eight and a half before and a quarter okay sorry guys i can't math today um okay so what was i saying um, oh, so then we went to the Friends of the Library bookstore and, um, I bought a bunch of books and, um, some of which I'll show you. They're super cool. Um, and then we went to Sam's. This is where I was going with this whole story. We went to Sam's. And I spent over $300 and did not get very much stuff. Um, but one thing I did get, I was so excited about. Um, so we went, and I needed glue. And I didn't figure they would have my glue because I use the Aline's Tacky Glue, which is, you know, Dollar Tree, Walmart type glue. <clears throat> but it works great. So um, we went over there anyway to look. Cause my husband's like, well, if nothing else, maybe they have some glue sticks. 
So we went to the office supply and they had these packages of 15. So what it was, was it was 12 glue sticks like this, the, the Elmer's glue sticks, the purple goes on purple stuff, 12 of those and three big size bottles of Elmer's school glue in a package for less than $4 or, or just under $5. No, less than $4. I was stunned. I mean, absolutely. No, wait, there were four. It was just under $5. So anyway, whatever. Um, this huge, huge package for like almost nothing. Um, and so I bought five of them and brought them home. <clears throat> I won't use the Elmer school glue, but I'm going to donate that to work because the residents will use it. And, um, and I wound up with 60 glue sticks and I spent less than $25 on it. And, um, my husband went, he had to go pick up groceries a while ago, um, which he's not back yet. And he was going to run by Sam's and see if they had any more because they um, did have more. So yeah, everything is so expensive right now, but occasionally we'll find a really good deal on something. So, um, I don't remember how we got on that subject, but that was exciting. It was exciting. Okay, so I cut this down. Now what I want to do is decide on paper. And um, give me just a second. I have a ton of this paper. It's not really pink. It's kind of an off pink. Um, Someone was detected. At oop, I think door. my husband's home. I will be back. Okay, guys, I'm so excited. Um, my husband just got home, and I wanted to show you. Um, he got 10 more of those packs of glue, and I confirmed with him. They were $3.91 a piece, so it was just under $4, and he got 10 more packs, and I just wanted to show them to you. So this is what how they come, okay? There are 12 glue sticks and three bottles of glue. $3.91. He bought every one of them that they had left. I am so excited. So this will give my residents 45 bottles of glue total between what I bought yesterday and what I, what he bought today um, for them to use. And it gives me a total of 180 glue sticks. This should last a little while. <laughs> um, he also picked up a couple of bottles of the Aline's Tacky Glue, so I can quit telling you guys I need to go buy that. But yes, I'm very excited. I just had to share that with y'all. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, um, so I've got this paper. It goes very, very nicely there. Um, like I said, it's not quite pink. It's kind of like a peachy color. Um, and what I thought we would do... It's also not very thick. This is very thin paper, but since we are um, oh yeah, that's perfect. Since we are um, going to use it for writing mostly, um, I thought it would be good. My husband just came home, like I said, and um, he was, I heard him talking. Uh, I'd gone out there to talk to him for a minute, and then when I came back in the room, I heard him say something about the office, and I thought he was telling Alexa to, anyway, I thought he was telling her to drop into the office so he could tell me something. So I was like, don't worry about it. The door's open. I'll be right there. And so I walked out there and I'm like, did you need something? And he's like, no. And I said, well, I thought you told her to drop into the office. And he said, no. And so I turn around and come back in here and she was playing the duck song. I love the duck song. If you guys haven't heard it, it's absolutely worth hearing. Hold on just a second. While we're folding papers, I'm going to have her play it because it's hilarious and you can always look for it on YouTube. I'll actually try and link it below. Um, Alexa, play the duck song. 
Houston Dove Song by Bryant Oden on Amazon Music. Tell me the duck story. <laughs> so my son um, introduced me to that song about, well, I don't know, six months ago, maybe a little longer than that, and I just love it. It is so funny and cute, and it just makes me happy. So, yeah. I'll, I'll link it below if you hadn't heard it before. Um, it's it's my favorite you know you get all these silly songs on youtube and um things like um baby shark which i hate <laughs> um and uh my son likes the tarantula song which i also hate but um but you get all these silly songs and most of them i just yeah whatever but that one just it tickles me and so um my son will be in his room and i will um tell alexa to drop or to uh play the duck song in his room and she'll just he'll you can hear him like she'll just barely boot it up and he'll be like alexa stop <laughs> so Like, you should never have introduced me to that to begin with. You should have known that your mother would be. Hooked on it and annoying you. Hey, I had to trim these down to four. Because when you put them all together, they were poking out the side um, a little bit. And so I'm hoping this is... Um, 
the right width now. And I think I have decided to um, maybe cut it in half and make a couple of smaller journals out of it. I didn't realize there was still a paper in there. But let me go ahead and trim it down too, just because I don't really want one wider than the others. So it's kind of awkward. So. so today's video is going to be kind of a mishmash of whatever. Um, but I just... This is me today. It's Sunday and I am feeling very mishmashy. Um, I've got so much to do. And um, see, I like that like it is, but chances are I wouldn't use it. Um, so if I don't cut it down, um, it probably won't get used. So I'm going to cut it down and put it into like a journal, journal and journal thing. Okay. Um, I know traveler's notebooks are supposed to be tall, so I guess really this isn't a traveler's notebook. Um, I just, I, I know that I won't use it that way, and it just seems like such a waste. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to do it this way. to get kind of hungry guys um i have not eaten today and it is 12 30 i've been up i don't know since seven ish 6 30 i don't really remember okay so i've got those two ready to go and we can sew those signatures in real quick and then we will see what else we want to do Let me see what I've got that I want to use to sew them in today. Um, a lot of people don't like using the floss um, for this. I don't, I've never had a problem with it, ever. So, um, I just use it. And I've never had it come apart. Um... Yeah, I just, I don't have any problems with it. Now, one thing you can do if you're really uncomfortable is you can use two strands. You can even use, like, two different colors, which is what I think I might do. Um, maybe. If I can find a color that I like with it. Oh, that's too bright. Well, let's try what I've got there. Um, I don't really feel like it needs the two strands, but because I know some people get uncomfortable with, I'm just going to set one of these aside, um, get a, uncomfortable with using this. And I want you guys to find this tutorial or, or craft with me or whatever you want to call this useful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the two strands just so you guys can see how that would work. Okay. So I'm going to go across three times sure most of you have seen this before but for those of you who haven't uh, to measure the length of the thread that you need um, just measure it against your book three times and then I will get my needle I use a large needle uh, one because I can't see so good for threading the needles um, and so these large needles help me with that and also, it just um, 
that's easy to work with. Okay, uh, where is my... See, this is what happens when your desk is a disaster. So I just want to make sure that that's in there and lined up good. And then I want to clip these so that they do not move while we're working with it. Because if they move, it's going to jack everything up, so to speak. So this is how it should be. It should be nice and tight up against there. Um, I'm going to get my, I don't know what these tools are called. I call them pokey tools. <laughs> um, I'm going to get this thing and I'm going to try and find about the center point. I'm not going to measure it because I just don't get too worried about that. But if you, if it bothers you and you want to measure, go right ahead, do it. You do you. Um, have any of you read that book? I think it's Sarah Knight. Um, it is awesome. I have it on Kindle. I also have it on Audible. I listen to it a lot. Um, that one and um, let's see. Here are some of the others. Um, I can't remember some of the titles of the others right off the top of my head. But I think it's funny because there's a part in the book where she says that she almost called that book whatever works bitches but got tired of um her uh titles being um banned or you know whatever um so <laughs> um but you do you is it's it's a good book it's kind of a self-help thing and um i find it relaxing to listen to and funny and also helpful um to some degree i mean it's it can be very helpful um depending on you know what kind of issues you're looking for help with <laughs> so but anyway Okay, and just like that, um, I know I didn't talk you through that, but we're going to do another one here in a minute, and I'll talk you through it if I need to. Um, well, I'll just go ahead and talk you through it, because how am I going to know if I need to, right? I don't know who's watching this and what they need today, so we're just going to do it, and you guys can feel free to take what you need from it. All right, so there we have... A little journal um, it's a little looser than I like I didn't pull it quite tight enough but with this particular paper if I'd pulled it very tight it might have torn and I don't really think it needs it anyway this is going to be a journal in journal and if you look I mean it's fine it's it's not gonna like come loose it's fine so there's one now let's go ahead and do this one too And we will have two little journals uh, to go into our uh, journals. Now, what I'm not doing is decorating them right now because um, I don't really know where I'm going to want to put them. And also, I kind of want to, um, you know, get a few more things made before we call this a video. Got that up against there. Okay, let's get some more thread. I'm just going to go ahead and use the same two colors. I like the way they worked together. They look nice in the journal. So, 
I'm going to go one, two, and three. My scissors need to be sharpened. I've got to see if I can figure out how to do that. Does anyone know how to go about sharpening your scissors um, yourself? Um, I don't have like a knife sharpener or anything. I don't even know if that would work. I guess it would though. Um, I don't know. But I got to do something because every pair I have, because I use them for everything. See, it's my own fault. If I had a specific pair of scissors to use for specific things, I probably wouldn't have this problem. But I just use them for everything. Where did I put my pokey tool? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to try and find about the center point and punch that hole through. I'm going to come up here, go down just a little bit, punch the hole through, come down here, go down about the same distance, and poke that through. Um, then I'm just going to bring my thread in, run it through the middle. I want to hold on to this end, okay, go through the middle, Come up here and go through. Come all the way down to this other hole and go through. Then I will still hold on to that. I'm going to come up and I'm going to go back through that original hole. And I'm going to try and get this on. I don't want to catch those original strands though because then we get a mess because it'll split them. Um, I want to go on the opposite side. So this, these strands are on this side. I want these strands to be on this side of this center thread. Okay. I'll pull them tight. Not so tight that we tear the paper, but tight. And tie a knot. And then I can just trim. And there's another one done. And I said I was not going to decorate these, but then I was thinking, I want to see what I have on cut aparts in that paper pad because I want to use those too. And guys, summer will be here before we know it. It will. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at these. And also, I think there's some stickers. There are. There are some stickers on the back. Um, I'm kind of liking that tree. I wonder how that would look on here. A palm tree. Maybe the Hello Paradise. Should we try it? Oh, I like it. What do y'all think? I like it. You know what would be really cute there is a monkey. I wonder if I have a monkey. I'm going to keep looking for a monkey. Um, we're going to move on, but um, I'm going to keep that in mind because that would be fun. And I was thinking about that Hello Paradise, but now I'm looking at it and I'm wondering if it would be too big. Let's try it and see. Yeah, if I moved that down some, I wonder if it'll still let me. And I realize we just only used one piece of paper, but, um, you know, every one piece is one piece used. Ooh, that was deep, wasn't it? <laughs> I like it, guys. I do. Um, 
it's simple but I really like it okay all right I'm not going to distress it because I don't feel like this is a distress it, it doesn't need it um, so I'm just going to leave that for now and I'm going to set this aside and then we will come in with this one and what do we want to do um Ooh, that's pretty that's pretty I'm liking the purple too okay and I like that that's pretty you know what it needs though it needs rounded corners and then it needs something else I don't know not sure yet what that something else is See how big is this? This is right at three. Just under three by just under four. So we're gonna cut this to like four and an eighth tall. And three and an eighth wide. And we will round these corners as well. Now I'm just using my crocodile um, corner chomper at the half inch side. If you don't have this, you can shape these with scissors or any other corner rounder you have will work fine. offset it a little bit but you know what I think it needs if I do that is just a little bit of maybe fossilized amber not much just a little to give it some dimension and make it look more complete. It doesn't stand out a lot, which is good, but it does make it feel more done. like it. Let's do it. Right. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, I really wanted to do a couple of more things after these 
uh, little journals. So we're going to keep working for just a little longer um, and see what kind of where it goes. Okay. Um, I originally had not intended to decorate them, but you know, I told my husband this morning, I don't remember what it was about, but I said, I intend to. And he said, oh, so you're going to hell. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're kind of a jerk, but I love him. He's a good guy. He's kind of a jerk sometimes. <laughs> he loves to tease me, but he's a good guy. I think I'll keep him. It's only been 25 years, so maybe I'll just keep him a little longer. All right, so there's two. And I probably will add some more stuff. I'm still thinking a monkey would look really cute there. And um, thinking maybe some washi or lace over here. But for right now, we're going to leave them. We're going to set these aside, and we're going to see what else we can do with that paper pad. Paper pad. Before I go back to cleaning. All right, let's see. What else have we got? Um, so, we have... I love this blue... Maybe we could play with the blue a little bit. Or there's some pretty purple. Um, we also have, if we wanted to make some more of those little journals later, we have this uh, also, as well as another one of those same papers we used. Um, oh, there's some more cut aparts I didn't see before. Um, I'm liking this blue. Let's play with this blue a little bit and see what we think. Um, I was kind of thinking maybe we would make um, some journal tags. I am considering making a... Um, Well, not considering. I am planning to make an ocean-themed journal. Um, it's just I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, but I'm going to be putting together a kit for it. So this might be ideal. We can make a little bit of ephemera to go into my kit. Here. I'm cutting these to three and a quarter by six and a half. That's just the general size I do my tags and stuff. Um, sometimes that changes a little bit, but in general, that's what I do. I'm going to cut two of these because I'm thinking I'm going to make a tag booklet. And when I cut this one, instead of going three and a quarter, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go on up to three and three quarters so that I can have a flap. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. And I could have done this without cutting it at all. Um, as a matter of fact, let's just do that. Let's just say, okay, we want this to be, so I cut it, at, I do three and a quarter. So we won't need a flap if I do it this way. So we just need this to go to six and a half. So we'll have six and a half by six and a half. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to go six and three quarters. I'll show you why. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to fold this in half. Well, I'm not. Hold up. Ah, and you're sitting there going, she's being crazy again. Okay, so I said six and a half, but then I cut it to six and three quarters, right? So I want to come over here and go to a quarter of an inch. So let me just go to six and a half. Then I want to, wow, this is not cut straight. Okay, never mind. We're just going to do it this way. We're just going to fold this in half. I'm 
probably going to cut parts of this out because this is crazy. Um, I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and trim this down just a little bit because it's not even. Not even papers just kill me. They kill me. I don't understand. I'll put that knife away. Um, okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to make this into a tag booklet, right? So I'm going to go ahead and use my angle chomper. So this is the We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile Corner Chomper as opposed to, oh, I'm sorry, they're both corner chompers. Well, this one is angles and this one is rounding. Um, we're going to use the angle one now. I'm going to use the large angle and go to the top and turn this into a tag. But because I'm liking the journal and journals right now, we're going to make this one a journal as well. Let me go find some paper that I want to use. I'll be right. Okay. So apparently the paper I'd hoped to use, which was this really light blue, um, I only have three sheets of, but I do have the darker blue. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use both. So I'll use these three sheets and then we'll fill out the rest of it with um, the dark blue. And again, just like we did before, I'm going to do... Um, Uh, 15 sheets. I'm going to go ahead and just fold them and then I will go back and cut them to the right length and width. Oh, I'm getting a headache. I need at least some coffee today, I think. I think that's the biggest problem is I haven't had any coffee today. So I'm going to have to go and do that. My sister-in-law said, because I don't know if you guys saw, um, I did a video. Um, it was this video where I made these, um, these little corner journals. And uh, I put eyelets in them and then someone had posted on my video and they're like um how do you uh open the journal up to write in it if you've got eyelets going through it and I was like oh wow um no you probably shouldn't put eyelets in it I, I screwed that up and so I got on there and I was like look I'm really sorry I was tired and um you know please don't put eyelets in this project because you won't be able to use it. And um, so my sister-in-law got on there and she's like, um, you should never craft before coffee. I'm like, yeah, I know, but I do it all the time. And I have not had, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I have not had any coffee today, guys. I'm losing it. I'm telling you that's my biggest problem is no coffee. So when we're done with this one, we're probably going to call it a video. I'm going to go in and I'm going to find some coffee. And then we're going to come back and do part two of using up this paper pad on another day. I probably will record it today, but you'll probably see it on another day. Because that's my goal is to get some extra videos recorded. Okay, so there's three. And we've got four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So that one's extra. Okay. 
and we're going to spread this out a little bit but for right now i just need to check size okay so these are way too wide we want them to be let's see what we want we want these to be okay so this is just one eighth below three and a half. Okay. So we want these to be an eighth below three and a quarter. So we want them to be three and one eighth wide. And then tall, we want, I think, six and a half. Yeah, six and a half by three and an eighth. Okay. And actually, yeah, let's go six and a half by three and an eighth on these. Okay. So we'll start with these. Maybe I should cut just a little more off. Maybe I should make it from here. So maybe I should make it like six and an eighth. Let's do that. That would be six and an eighth by three and an eighth. Yep. Let's do that. Six, six and an eighth by three and an eighth, okay? I think my residents are supposed to be making Valentine's tomorrow. It had been my intent to do that on Friday with them. Well, actually, originally it had been my intent to do them Tuesday. Um, but then they had requested, one of my residents had requested that we do them. So then I was like, well, we can do them on Friday. Well, then Friday was nuts. Um, and that did not happen. Um, so I think that tomorrow we're going to do... Valentine's. So I'm going to gather some stuff I've got here at the house up that they can use <clears throat> as well as all that glue that I'm taking to them and um, package all that up tonight because I keep intending to do it and then I forget it. And so I want to do that. Tomorrow we're supposed to watch, I know we're watching a movie, I think it's Mamma Mia, um, because this is the month of love, you know, it's Valentine's, so um, my plan had been to get them, you know, watching some romance movies off and on. I don't want to, because so many of them have lost, you know, their person. Um, so I don't want to like jam it down their throats, which is why I'm really concentrating more this month on, um, Mardi Gras partying, you know, having a good time. 
um, rather than the romance. But that said, I do want them to see some fun romantic movies. So we are going to watch Mamma Mia, I think it is tomorrow. And then I think Grease is planned for next Monday. And then um, Beauty and the Beast and uh, what is the other one? Um, another Disney. I can't remember. Um, I don't remember. But anyway, I gotta cut this one a little more. It's sticking out. So that'll be fun. We'll do popcorn and movie. Um, most of them won't come down though because. I don't know. They just. A lot of them just aren't into the movies. Okay. So now I've got my tag formed and I've got my papers cut. We're going to do this exactly the same as we did the others a few minutes ago, except that in this case, um, these aren't going to go all the way to the top, so we're not going to be able to clip at the top. So we're going to clip on the side and at the bottom. All right, now I have to decide on what we want to use to sew it in. And I have some blue that might be pretty. Yes, I like that. And I want another shade of blue. I want two different shades of blue going. That's it. Uh, yeah, I like that. Okay. So we're going to bring in the pokey tool that I don't know the real name of. And we're going to do this exactly like we did the other journals. We're going to come down about halfway. Now, I want halfway from here, not halfway from the top. So about here, I think. The paper I used in this one is a little bit thicker than the paper I used in the other one. Um, so it's a little more work to jab it, but completely doable. Okay, there we go. Now. Again, when I'm doing, when I'm measuring for, oh, I'm sorry. When I'm measuring for how long I need this, I don't want to go all the way to that top, only to the top of the pages. Okay, so one, two, and three. my needle down I've got glue all over me okay and here we go through the middle hold the end through the top pull oh wow that was so hard um, down here through the bottom hole and that one went smooth back up 
for the same original hole. Remember, we want to be on the opposite side of the other one, and we do not want to catch those threads if we can avoid it. Okay. Pull it tight without tearing the papers, hopefully, and then tie a knot. Oops. Tie a knot. And trim. Then we have a tag that is also a journal. Now we will need a closure for this, um, which I am considering what I want to use for that right now. But for right now, I'm not going to worry about that closure. Um, we will come back and do that. Um, actually, I wanted to show you though, in just a second. can't remember which one of my two new books had it, but there is a um, whole mess of ocean themed stickers that are just beautiful and would look so cute on this journal. I love this one because it goes kind of by color. Um, ooh, what was that? cute um aha there we go making sure this was all of it right okay so we've got all of this and i'm thinking this would be cute here that is cute but it i think it's too much blue the blue on blue I think would be a bit much. Oh, is that it? Maybe it was my Arc Arcana or Arcana, 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 or I don't know how to say it. Maybe it was that book that had them all in it. Okay, I wonder where I saw them. It's fine. Um, I'm wondering about this though. Now, what about cut aparts? What did we have? I don't know, I'm just really liking that. I know I'm supposed to be using up this paper pad, but I am really, really liking that. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do it. Um, and then we'll have to figure out a closure. Um, I'll have to figure something out later. Um, some way to close that up because it's probably going to be what I'm thinking I'm going to do is like put something onto the journal where I'm going to put this. Um, or if I just slip it in a pocket, I won't need the closure. But otherwise I might put something on the journal and then wrap it around and fasten it like here with like Velcro or something. Um, it's a distinct possibility. Mm. 
do y'all think? I'm not so sure now. <laughs> now I'm looking at it going, I don't know if I like that or not. But look. All right, it's a little cutesy for my taste, but we're going to leave it, and we're going to look at what we've done today with the paper pad we've been working with, um, and we've done this tag journal, um, which, oh, one more thing I need to do. It's just this one. I want to come up top. There we go. It's not quite centered, but it's good enough. And then I want to come on with one of these in a blue. It actually turned a little bit green, but it will probably be fine. It's kind of a blue green. There we go. And then I might add some ribbon or something there as well. Okay, so we've got this one, this one, and this one that we made from our paper pad today. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful or at least entertaining. Um, and I hope that you will come back and visit with me again next time. In the meantime, if you like what you saw today, please give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell too, then it'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Be sure and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. What else can I do with my paper pad? And thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye.